all right guys good morning everybody uh, we had an amazing day in the chat room uh thanks to amd and smci i had a really really profitable day especially in smci um so i had uh, some position on tna that i sold it today so this 8200 is a swing trade but this uh, amd and smci are the um, uh, day trade positions so what happened so at the open uh, so we get, again we are in this crypto mania or ai mania or uh, whatever this semiconductor mania that we are seeing right now is again since uh, start of the new new year all these semiconductors are moving like crazy smci is one of them that we traded uh, i i traded in uh, march 16 as well we did a really nice short on that today was gapping up again i don't really know exactly why I think it's just i guess the bitcoin is up at sixty seven thousand dollars five percent up so uh does impact a whole semiconductor industry if bitcoin is becoming a really a serious uh, crypto becoming a serious currency it requires a lot of uh, mining and all these minings uh needs uh semiconductors but anyways AI also need a lot of uh chips uh, for processing these informations so smci at the open it was gapping up uh, so we were expecting it to uh, move up uh, what happened here was uh, sold off as a doji came back up above the weave app did a nice one minute pin range break up by kind of chasing it here at the 1050 was hoping to get a breakout toward the all-time high at 1079 which is the all-time high this this line that i already marked it here but it did drop below the vwap and my rule of thumb is if i'm getting an opening range break up and it dropped below the vwap i'm going to get a stop down on it and i did get a stop down it was fairly a big loss but it came back up as you know just before the vwap i started adding heavy on that because i knew that you know it's something that is up 10 15 percent is going to come back up maybe for the another round so i added heavy on that i partial a little bit and then i realized that no this is going to go up for the break of five today then i added back and uh, at 10:45, and as you see went up all the way up to all-time high at 1080 so sold up uh, some partials at 1080 and the pullback i added more a little bit too early i should have added right around this moving averages but anyways i added in there my average is now actually right now at 1052 i still have 200 shares left here so at this 1052 and uh, i was patient enough uh, it did came back up break the all-time high and then it came back down and then again i was patient because my now new stop loss is at the break even just below the we wrap and as you see here we broke out again one more time at 10 uh 23 so i can actually start selling some here in this uh drop as uh pop as well so as you see that was a really really nice trade if you want to look at it, a five minute chart again really this is an engulfing uh, pattern so i added more and then this turned out to be a very very amazing trade so um this is uh uh you know the the one that i made the most and then now we're gonna go to amd amd pretty much the, exactly the same trade uh so again on a five minute chart you see this is a very nice five minute opinion range break up so if i wanted to show the pattern here is five minute opinion range break up this is a really pattern that you know we traded a lot lenny also uh, trades them a lot who has a really nice course on that as well uh, so hard to trade that um, but on a one minute chart the tactics was uh, you, what you see here a very similar trade with both Brian and I did we went long AMD a little bit earlier dropped I got a stopped out as soon as it came back up I went long much uh, heavier size we got a really nice uh, rally on it from 205 to 210 and then on the pullback I added a couple of times and uh, I got a stopped out at the break even so that is uh, that is my stop loss at the break even and it came down just below the weave up and came back up and that's unfortunately uh i knew it's gonna happen but uh you know but you have to stick to your plan so when you start so this was my entry and this three my uh, ads so my new average it became just right around here so as soon as it came down it got to stop me out and i'm, I'm not a uh, big fan of holding a position when it's really passing my break even point so that was pretty good um so as you see here it came back up again but i really didn't trade that smci was much nicer because my entry was uh, way better and uh, it was down so it never really came down to my break even point my break even point as i showed you here is actually 1052.71 so that was uh, pretty nice and uh yeah the positions i still have the vo very big position waiting on that market mixing all-time high uh, with CLT, some bonds I have, and the uh, TLT is short the puts. 
that I hope that it's going to go to um, zero. That's it, guys. Uh, so, Brian, uh, what else you did uh, trade? Uh, you traded. Yeah, the only other lost. the other trade I did that you didn't do was uh, I did I traded Dell. I took it long when it started to uh, to break through the VWAP. Uh, here, just yeah. before <clears throat> ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping it would get to one thirty, but uh, you know, I was taking partials all the way up, and then it got to R three and reversed, so I got stopped out um, on the rest. But that was a nice trade. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> yeah. Um, why did you trade Dell? Dell had the news. Uh, it was gapping up, and it was it was. Um, I, I think it was. I was watching it on the weekend, looking it at it on the weekend. Um, it looked interesting going into the open. It sold off and then bounced and came back up. So, nice. but Dell Dell had uh, earnings last week, and they were pretty good on Thursday night. Yeah, very nice. That was amazing trading, guys. This. Uh this mania, whatever it is, I don't know. Again, Bitcoin is at 67,000, just a little bit below all time high. I think uh, uh, the all time high in Bitcoin is. Uh, how much was the all time high in Bitcoin? It was. I think, uh, uh, it's getting pretty close. Uh, 79? I have it 79, but my number in my mind was 78,000. Isn't it? Does anyone know what's the all time high? In the, in the chart here, Dust shows. 69,000 69. according to John. Oh, 69, huh? Yeah. So it is pretty close. So it's going to break the all-time high. Usually near these uh, levels, uh, you're going to get the breakout. So 69 at all-time yeah. high. And I'm uh, I'm long uh, swing trade. I'm long Ethereum. The long Ethereum, so, huh? Yeah. Very Another cool. news that we had uh, was Tesla. Tesla is selling off really bad uh, today. Uh, tr uh, some people traded short. I think uh, Paris did it really nicely at the short. Uh, uh, really nice short on it. Uh, I think uh, uh, so. It's down six percent. It's continuing to sell off. I think the next serious level. If you want to take a reversal on that, you have to see what the 15-minute chart does. And you know, at the new 15-minute high, you can take it. That's why it still is pretty weak. It did struggle a little bit at 191.64. It did a quick bounces, but uh, the downside pressure is uh, really heavy on that. And Apple is selling off as well. Uh, Apple has reached to a mature state, and uh, you know now every serious news that comes makes it uh, drop. Um, I know Lenny took a very nice short at around 9:45 for opening range breakdown uh, as a short, so he shared that. So yeah, that's uh, pretty amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, this week we have a couple of really good presentations. Megan is going to talk about zero DTE, zero day to expiry options. Uh, especially for indexes that we have. It's a really amazing uh, uh, a strategy for people with a smaller account size. So you can actually really uh, have some massive gains uh, for the people who are interested in options. Other than that, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. It turned out to be a really, really good uh, profitable day for me. It's just uh, over 1% of my account, which is exactly what we want. And uh, um, yeah, it's amazing, guys. Thank you so much and uh, looking forward to trade with you tomorrow. Yeah, have a good day.